hey, now, hey, look, did they get into it? Did they get into it before that, him and Skinny? Yeah, they did. They was into it before that. They didn't make it so bad, niggas. That damn said I want that nigga dead, so. Hey, man, that was a Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't a for a while, for like three months now, it's been going this ongoing back and forth between Big Dale, Trenches News, shout out both of them, you know, you see this video right here, that's from my block to block, he had an Easter giveaway going on, and we touched on the death of Fat Shorty and shit like that, and he got real emotional during that conversation, so I didn't push the issue, that's not my place, you know, when somebody obviously don't feel comfortable with a set of questions or just um, a setting that they put in, I always fall back a little bit and give them the uh, opportunity to speak on it themselves and so after we spoke on it a little bit i didn't you know i even though i had more questions about that night i kind of wanted to go in detail about like the argument that supposedly took place and other things like that that me myself not even other bloggers but myself has been reporting on uh just for the great details that was released to the public and um i don't know if y'all know this man but fat shorty mom fat shorty mom is making her rounds between bloggers and things like that and she um, I seen it under, under the video of Trenches News And she was like, Trenches ain't wrong And I'm not exactly sure I don't know if she sent this out to bro Or she released this, um, the, this the audio on her own But she distorted the voices So you couldn't really pinpoint who was talking And pretty much she released audio of a witness Who was there at that party saying, Stating that Pretty much this, you know, it's Trench, he did a good job breaking it down But pretty much uh, I don't know if y'all know, but Fat Shorty and G Skinny supposedly got into got into an altercation before the actual party took to, to transpire. He didn't have the location, but he got it. He showed up. Uh, he showed up. Uh, everybody. That's what dude meant when he said uh, uh, Big Deals look like a ghost and other people's look like a ghost because G Skinny just got into a fight with Big Deal over some. I don't want to say too much, but over some bread and. When he showed up uninvited, it led to like another little altercation. But before I got physical, G Skinny either threw a cup of liquor, a bottle of liquor, but it was some liquor thrown that hit Big Dale's wife. And if you listen to the audio, when the liquor hit his wife, that's supposedly when um, the events transpired leading to, um, you know, I don't want to say an ordered hit. You got to be careful what you say about this shit. Because even though we could say as bloggers, oh, we we, we not crash solving cases or something. But we don't know. You don't know what who like what department is watching this shit. So all you can say is pretty much some words were said that made another person who's currently incarcerated right now on gun charges. Uh, he was supposedly, you know given the hint to go ahead take him out the game and after he was taken out the game um fast forward a little bit to uh fast shorty funeral supposedly uh big deal wasn't allowed to go to the funeral he wasn't allowed to attend his own son's funeral because blame was being placed on his shoulders man it's a lot of shit going on between this i remember when uh g skinny brother first got arrested uh and people tried to say the murder was pinned on him the guy from pbg and then they're trying to say it was gun charges i think big deal in this interview if y'all go watch our block the block he did say that his son was locked up on unrelated charges so you know i'm gonna reach out to deal see if we can get him on the live tonight to try to clarify this directly um and we're gonna get to the bottom of this shit get in the comment section let me know what y'all think below i'm gone